God, it's Pastor Stephen, and I'm inside, and I have a guest with me. This is Johnny Berry. Hey. Hello. And Johnny is going to be going off to college. He just graduated. You just had a, a um, graduation party from high school. And you, where did you have it? Oh, we had a Maple Springs Food Association. And another place I work. Yeah, you're the lifeguard there. Cool. Yeah. But today we're talking about a job that he does here as, I'm calling it night watchman, and you said night lockup. Night or lockup. We're not really sure what it's called. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he's the guy that comes around every night and goes through and makes sure the church is secure. Oh, they're your keys, yeah. <laughs> yep. And you're even wearing a glove there. So can you take us through and just take the part? So by the time you come here, you've already done a lot of outside door locks, and then you're coming inside. Why don't you just take us through where you go from here? All right. First, I'm going to come up here. Guy. And why do you want to make sure they're closed? Well, these specifically are fire doors, so in case of any emergency at night, these would stop any fires. So that's a safety issue, yes. And it's interesting when we're doing worship, we have them all propped open so that nobody has to touch them. So there's a lot of changing around with these doors. We would also have to check any windows, make sure all those are closed. Now, before you came through, we turned on the lights so that we could see better. But how, do you turn the lights on as you go? No, usually I just use a flashlight or my phone light and just turn everything off. I know that, because once in a while I'm working late and you come by here and uh, <laughs> and you're just going through with your flashlight. Right? Okay, and if you saw the office door open, come in here, lock it, close it. And as you're coming through, you're checking all the doors as you go? Checking every door, usually. Shine a flashlight, make sure all the windows are closed. Oh. <laughs> Don't lock me out, because that's my office, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh. These two don't get locked. So I was going to say, I know this one's never locked. Shine it in, okay. making sure everything's closed. These sure. ones also have air conditioning, so you got to make sure that's off. There was a meeting here last night and air conditioning was on. I believe they turned it off at the end, so that's good. You would have caught it if they did. Of course. <laughs> Downstairs. We're doing everything we can, folks, to make you dizzy. <laughs> Another couple doors. Shine a flashlight. These two I just push on. You know, if you want to push on this part, it'll come open anyway. About how long does it take you to, you have a route yes. that makes sure you hit every door outside yep. and inside that needs to be checked. Usually it takes me around 15 minutes to get through everything. Okay. Yep. And we're not too picky whether you start that at 8 or as long as the committee meetings are over and yep. everyone's out and there are very few here at this point. Usually I come in after 9 as early as possible so I can get into bed. You also want to check the bathrooms just to kind of peek in and listen to make sure no water's running. Oh, I appreciate you do that. You did find something one time, didn't you? Yes, there have been a couple cases, especially now that they have the different faucets upstairs. Make sure everything's locked. All the windows closed. Now, um, you turned off, or you closed a couple windows upstairs in the sanctuary Sunday night, didn't you? Yes. You know why they were open? I'm guessing it's because church was the next day. <laughs> oh, well, that was Sunday night, so we were done with church. Oh, okay. So what people don't know is that as we were, um, I was doing a little sound check before the service on Sunday morning, and I had opened all the windows. You actually helped me open the windows the <laughs> yeah. night before, and we had a couple birds that decided to come in and join us for worship, and by the end of the service, we had three so as our sextons were locking up, we kept a window on each side open just so they had a way to get out. By the next day, they were all gone and you had locked up, so that was good. We didn't that's even crazy. tell you, but they were gone. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now, the reason we're following Johnny on his rounds is so that everybody has had the training and you can be the new night watchman because Johnny will not be able to continue too much longer. He's going to Bloomsburg. He's going to Bloomsburg. Yep. 
And have you heard from them if they're um, doing in-person classes? Yeah. It looks like we're going to have a couple in-person, a couple online. Very good. Yeah. They're going to be on campus, which is surprising. Good. Okay, we're still recording. I just got a warning yeah. um, come up, but we're there. These doors. What's behind there? Not everybody knows. This is actually the boiler room. It's always locked from the inside, so as long as it's closed, it should be fine. Okay. We're not going to go down there today because right now the splash is there, so you don't have clearances. I do, so I drop in on, on splash once in a while. So let's go back outside right. so we can take off our masks and finish this up. Thank you, Johnny. So how long have you been the, the night lockup guy? I've been two years now, two or three years. Two or three years, wow. Cool. Oh, good. All right, we'll keep a little bit distance here. So, what are you going to study, and, and how, what's, what are your plans for the future? John? All right, I'm going to do the computer science. I'm hoping to be a programmer when I'm older. That should be big money. <laughs> <laughs> and what day are you supposed to move into dorms? Is it dorms you're going into? Yes. I think it's the 16th or the 15th. Very good. And classes start 17th. Wow, so that's, uh, yeah, Ooh. less than a month away. Okay, so we're putting the word out there. And if you know of a, a person that might want this position, they can't be afraid of the dark, <laughs> and they need to be able to, to work sometime between, what, what nine and midnight, you, you try to come through mostly around nine or 10. And uh, so if you know someone who might be good for that, let them see this vlog. So they, they basically, this is our training video, so that you know what to do and uh, contact me or someone at the church and we'll, we'll go from there. Well, Johnny, we always end with, uh, we did read the scripture about the watchman, or did I? Not yet. No, I didn't. So let's, here's a scripture I found in Ezekiel 3:17. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the people of Israel. So hear the word I speak and give them warning for me. And actually, if you look up watch and night or watchmen or watchmen, watchman, you'll find they come up a few times. And in fact, we have a hymn that mentions Watchmen. I'll sing in just a minute, but first let's pray. Lord God, we pray for, we thank you for the way that you have blessed us and Johnny's faithful carrying out these duties the last two or three years. We pray that you provide a new person that can step in. And we also pray for Johnny as he goes off to college and as many of our other young people do and into some uncertainty. But we pray that you provide for them, and we pray that you prepare them for more things to come, even during these challenging days. We put ourselves in your hands, in Jesus' name. Amen. The hymn we have is actually from the season of Advent, in preparing for Christmas, and the, the song about the watchman is, have you seen any signs of, of God coming or of a star in the east? And it goes like this. Watchmen tell us of the night what its signs of promise are. Traveler, what a wondrous sight. See that glory beaming star. Watchmen does its beauteous ray. News of joy or hope foretell. Traveler, yes, it brings the day. Promise day of Israel. So we tied it all together just like Martha does when she picks hymns. We got a hymn about a watchman and we had a passage about watching in the night. So God bless you and may God protect you and watch you in the night. And may God protect Johnny and others that are going off to college. And I'll see you on Friday.